Hey guys, welcome back to the coconut tree tutorial. This time we're going to, to continue and to finalize this tree, this coconut tree. We're going to import this model to the UDK, to the Unreal, the Unreal Engine. And because that is an engine, it has some requirements. First is the set of model. We can just import this skin. When it got imported, it will separately import it. It's going to be a lot of mess. That's it. Polygon modeling, convert to poly. And we need to attach all of this. So we're going to attach all of the leaves first. Like this. And we're done for the leaves. Check it. Nothing's get left behind. And next is attaching the fruits. Put the more into the poly. Symmetry attach. Check it. Yet. Yet. All right. Before we continue, you may notice that. We have some stretch texture right here. You can evade it by increasing the number of segments you create before you create the plane, before you curve it out and make it like a leaves. When you make it a lot of mess, then you may end up a smooth with a smooth texture like this. In, and because I'm aiming for the low poly, I'm going to leave it like this and continue on attaching and you may notice this is a different material that's going to be attached the best option I guess is to match material ID, material to material IDs click ok wait I wanna select the fruit first Yep, that's is how it's done. Attach it again. Okay, and we are done. I'm going to remain it and name it to Coco 3. And let's exp export it. Click on export and I'm going to name it as Coconut 3 FBS. Make sure the smoothing group is on. Or you might have I have uh, several problems with that off. And then import it on the UDK. Gonna treat FBX. And there we have it. Our trace. What we need now is the media files, the textures. Importing and the next step is going to be the making of the materials. You know text is not gonna work without materials. And the masses need a materials to have the textures. So let's create the material first. Let's make the leaves. I'm going to take the example right here. Ah, uh, yeah, I forgot. Damn it. I forgot. There are several things that we forget. That is the unwrapping UVV. Not the texture unwrapping because the UDK is have is having us some several requirements it needs a light map to be big on the mesh 
so it needs a second layer of UV channel. Go to on web UV using the edit using the modifier. Go to the second map channel. I'm going to click roof. Open UV editor. Select all of it. And we need to pack this UV into the compact area of this. Select tools, pack UVs. Rotate cluster, fill holes, and click OK. And we're done. The UV is packed. When it's done, come back again. Fully gone, one little comfortable. And next, what I'm going to talk about that is the mesh. I made a uh, materials that detect wind. And when the mass hit by wind, it's going to move. It's going to swing. It was using a fact text color. So I'm going to put text paint. Paint it all back. Which determines the mass hit by wind or not is by this per text paint. The black color is not going to affect by wind and we're going to paint red. Red is going to be affected by the wind. And we're painting right now. And I guess I'm done. And here you notice that I accidentally the accidentally paint the bark too. And it's not going to be affected because it has different materials. The materials that are going to have to hit by the wind is only the materials that on the leaves. Export it again. On a tree. FBX. Replace it, yes. I'm just going to select the coconut tree and re-import static mesh. You're all done. You have to check the UV channel over here. That is our second layer of channel. And make sure the light map light map index is next by one because it's the one is going to leave the, the UV channel one. Going on. We're just going to use this example materials. We can just using the instance, but it doesn't have a normal. I'm not going to mess it up. I'm just going to copy it. Coco leaves map. There we go. We need to. Replace this texture with this texture. Now we're shaking. And input the normal map using right click, texture, texture sample. Drag this into the normal socket. We have it now. Next. We're going to make this material. It's a pretty straightforward material and we don't need a special tutorial. Right click and click create new material. Using control and left click to drag it. 
Break the alpha mass, the alpha channel to the opacity mass. Select the blend of a Q and change it to blend mass. Is it gone? No, it's not gone. It just doesn't have a two sided properties. It should be good. Then the normal. Texture. Make a texture sample. Assign it to the normal. And we have it. Before you're going on, I'm suggesting that we're assigning it first to this. Yep, that looks like the fruit. You select the object in the content browser. Click. There we go. And the leaves. Oh yeah, we have to make a few adjustments. So we need to create an instance model. Create new material instance constants. Yep, and we can change several parameters here. I might be giving this all texture sample in the description. I'll make it a download link so you can try it. And let's put this up into this. Okay, now we're talking. Next is I'm going to create the bark texture. I'm going to use this sample texture because it has some fake tessellation. It's not really a tessellation though, it's just bump map being offset. The instruction is pretty simple like this. This texture sample is having a Height map in the alpha channel, so it, we can put height in there. We made that in the normal texture of the bark texture too. Oh wait, I just save it. You know, it has an alpha channel. Wait, 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 wait. Coconut tree texture. Import texture. Oh wait. Did I have the different name? No, X X X X X. Lol. Import again. Yes, that's it. I'm making sure that this is not going to get wrong. Yep, that's it. Something is real. Ah, it's a PNG. I don't want a PNG. I want a Targa. But. Looks like I can make a Targa if I don't have a Targa search. So in it was ended up like this. I hope this is good. No one are imported, imported in can. Yeah, now we're talking. Okay, let's go on. We need to replace this. Oh wait, I don't have the main bark materials. This is what I meant. Yep, going to replace that with these. Now you see it. And replace the normal. Yep, almost, and the last one, and the last normal one. Yep. It should be good. We can make some adjustment right here. Just by Q 
making it more dark or more bright like this and then save it and assign it to the to our mesh yeah now it's finally done and we can spray it just messing around right here so we are finished and guys thanks a lot for watching